Namaskaram everyone. Welcome back to the 22nd episode of our Master Unreal series and in this episode we are going to go back to our locomotion system because now we have implemented our inventory system and this is the time where we implement the weapon animations and locomotions but before this we need to fix some basic issues. One of them was the foot placement that was also mentioned in the previous video in the comment section but as you can see my foot is now perfectly placed on the slope. And the second thing that we are going to implement in this video is the crutch to idle and idle to crutch transition. As you can see if I slow down the time. So this is the transition that we want. And we are also going to organize our data because in the further episodes we are going to implement turn in place, uh, aiming with your weapons and all that. So if you haven't seen the inventory system episodes, the link is appearing in the top right. You can click on it and it will take you to that. But if you are sticking to locomotion, then let's just get started. Okay, so we are in our editor now. Let's go back to our characters and go in the mannequins under animation, under ABP base. So this is what we did last time in the locomotion series. If you go to plugins, make sure the animation warping plugin is enabled. Once you have that, you can add the foot placement node before the leg IK and let the alpha be 1. Select this, plan speed mode to graph, IK foot root to IK foot root. Select the pelvis bone and add your two legs. I'll first add the right foot. So forward kinematic would be foot R. This would be IK foot R. This will be ball R. All right, and do the same for the left foot foot underscore L I K foot L all right so we have everything now save and compile if you go up you can see your lag is placed perfectly and now you can even rotate so the lag IK is also working perfectly fine all right so that's it for your foot placement issue now we can go under the locomotion. We created this animation layer interface in the fourth episode. We'll add another layer and we will name it full body skeletal controls. And let's keep it ungrouped. Once you have this, save and compile. Now what you need to do is just bring out these three nodes from here to locomotion layers base, full body skeletal controls and paste it and in the ALI select this layer press inputs add the input post save and compile go back and you'll find the input post available in the locomotion layer space and you can connect this to this and this one to this one. so this has nothing to do with foot placement uh, you can uh, stop the video if you are just here for the foot placement now we are going to continue towards the transitions of idle states from crutch to standing or standing to crutch and now here you can bring your layer so i can connect this one to this one break this full body skeletal controls and plug this here Okay, now you can see my foot is placed perfectly on the ground and I can slow down the time to show you the stride warping. It's perfectly placing on the ground. So under ABP locomotion layer space, we will go in the locomotion idle layer. But now here, I'll create a state machine and I'll name it idle state machine and I'll connect this to this. I'll cut this. I'll go inside and and here I will add another state idle and I'll go inside this and again I'll create a state machine and I'll say idle stents I'll connect this to this and then here I will go for an idle state to idle and inside this we are going to paste the function now once you are done save and compile just go back from here into the idle stents now, once this idle animation is playing and you press C or control for crutch or you press alt or some other key to prone, we have to transition. So to transition, we will create another state and we will call it stance transition. And now the transition rule here 
is we go back to ABP base and I'll create crutch state change. I'll save and compile. I'll go back to my locomotion layer space and inside this I will click on main and MVP thread save and I'll go for crutch state change and I'll hit save and compile. And now you can transition from idle to stance transition. And now we need to toggle this. So for this, I'm going to go in the ABP base and in the blueprint thread safe update function, we created this update character state data, remember? So we'll name it crutch states. Now before we update it, I want to create a local variable and I'll say was crutch last updates and we will bring this out here and I'll set this to this and I'll connect this one here and now we will connect this one to this one and then I'll say crutch state change and and then I'll say was crutch last update and is crutching not equal so what we are doing here is we are storing the last crutching state in the temporary variable and then we are updating the is crutching state and then we are checking was there a change so if it was on then it will be off so that means the state changed but let's say the character was not crutching and still this says not crutching then that means you are still not crutching you haven't changed anything you haven't changed your stance so i'll compile and i'll go back to abp locomotion layer space and now this will transition and once the transition is done, we will switch back to idle. Let's say you were in standing position. So you were playing the standing idle pose. Now you transition to crutch. So once the transition is completed, you will play the crutch idle animation. So one and then pull it again. So you have two transition rules. So this would be the first priority order and this would be the second priority order. And now first would be that the crutch state changes true and you will also automatically do this so i'll save and compile so if this doesn't happen then this would be given priority and it will automatically transition all right now we need to play the transition so i'll go for a sequence player i'll connect this to this so as soon as this node is ready we'll create a binding and in the functions, you will find this function. Just rename it to setup idle transition. So first we will convert it to sequence player. Go for this pure function. Then we will say set sequence. Connect this one to this one. And this one to this one. And now once this happens, there are two situations. One is that you enter into crutch state. Another one is you exit from the crutch state. So in that case, I'll create crutch idle entry and i will call it nm sequence object reference i'll create another crutch idle exit that means you are exiting the crutch idle so you'll stand up that's the animation it will store so i'll go for a select node so i'll go for crutch idle entry and crutch idle exit and we will get the property access node go for main and mbp thread safe is crutching and we will connect to this okay so we should connect this in a reverse order so if you are crutching then that means you are entering into this if you are not that means you have gone into standing so this is the transition that we will play save and compile and you can come back to the stance transition and make sure this sequence is set to dynamic once you hit compile the error will be gone so i'll go to my unarmed layers you will find crutch idle entry and exit so let's look for the sequences i'll go in my animations i'll drag this in the entry and i'll drag this in the exit and make sure the force root lock enable root motion is checked in both the cases save all and now if you play you can see the transition you see okay so we are done here now before i end this video i would like to quickly uh, tell you that we are going to organize our variables because in the next episode we will introduce more variables and 
you don't want to end up scrolling. So first let's start from acceleration. I would like to go for acceleration variable and then put acceleration data here. Okay. And now you can drag these inside. Go for velocity, put the group velocity data and now you can drag character velocity here. Then you can go for a scratching and you can name it character state data and you can go for is running, is scratching, is jumping, is falling, is on ground, is he running into wall, time to reach the apex and and of course the crutch state change. Okay, once you have this, you can collapse them. Then you can go for locomotion. So I'll name it locomotion state machine data and plug the locomotion direction in this. And then we can go for character location and I'll name it location data. And then you can move displacement speed, displacement since last update. Okay. And then we can have rotation data. So rotation data all right so we have everything organized now you can do the same in the locomotion layers base you can select walk cardinals and in the group you can name it nm set walk then you can move your walk cardinals inside this crutch cardinal inside this then you can select the idle and you can name nm set idle the crutch idle will be there, entry will be there, exit will be there, the idle would be there. You can go for jump group and place land recovery and time falling inside that. This is just a single variable but still we can go for jog and this is inside the jog. Alright.